you said there's a few like difficult this is a, a few like difficult things about changing your life. How do I word that? All right. So. There's, there's some like difficult difficult things. <laughs> <clears throat> Hats off. Yeah, so I had to take the hat off on this one. I might okay. I can't drop this mic, but if I could, I would after this. <laughs> so if you want to change your life and you really want to do it, there's going to be struggles with it. Um, this is the part that I wanted to talk about. Like I wanted to warn people, like if you're going to, if you're going to give up this way of life that you were living and you don't want to live no more and you've hit rock bottom and you want to change your life, then you need to really sit down and assess what you're going to do because this road ain't for the faint hearted. Like it's super hard changing your life. Um, it is not easy at all. There's so many times where I have been in, put in various situations just unseen to anybody else that like could have led me right back to where I used to be. Um, I fly every single day. I mean, I fly, I fight every single day to not take a flight back home to Tennessee and just go live a way of life that is easy to me because changing your life is hard, bro. It is, yeah. it is very hard trying to change and become something that basically you're not. Well, especially when you're you're dragging stuff behind from your past life, like you said earlier, like um, like the state of Tennessee calling and you have to pay another yeah, 60, like, like after I, I just paid I mean. seven hundred and eighty bucks, yeah, yeah. But uh, that's the important thing about just trying to get away from it. Like you said, you you dropped most of your friends and the people you used to talk to because mm -hmm. if you keep talking to them, what what's gonna happen? Like I'm going, I'm going to dip. Yeah, I'm you're going to gonna get gonna influenced go by them, and so I mean, it's good that you did that. But yeah, there's definitely a lot of struggles when it comes to addiction. I've I've seen it in my life. I personally haven't struggled with it, but I've yeah, I've seen seen people, and it, it's, it's it's tough. It's not for everybody here. If you if you've never done drugs, then don't don't do them because there's no reason to. It's just going to lead you. It's just going to lead you down to a path that you don't want to go down. Um. It's just going to draw you further and further away from your family. You're going to end up doing more damage than than causing any good. Um, I just I just want to be, like, an encouragement to people to, like, really sit down and assess if they're struggling, like, and think about where you're at right now and what it would be like if you were able to change. And would you be loved more and would you be able to get more help in the situations that you need help in? And will your family approve of it? Will your family help you out? Just access, access that stuff. Read a verse or two a day. Pray a couple times, um, and then and then wrestle with it. And getting help, like you don't always have to go to rehab, but like if you want to go to rehab, like I've been to a thousand rehabs, and like personally, like I've gotten more out of just being in the church and like being able to feel loved again and feel like I've been self sufficient and get my stuff together has been more helpful to myself because it's things that I've been accomplishing myself versus to where, and this is just me. I'm speaking for me. I'm not speaking for anybody else. Like I'm more power to the person that goes and do 30 days in rehab and gets their life completely together. Like all, all glory to them. You know what I mean? Um, you're talking to someone right now that's been to maybe 10, 11 rehabs from the time he was 16 to now and hasn't stayed at a single one of them. Um, but <laughs> it's not good at all. Uh, but it, it's my story. It ain't nobody else's. Um, I don't plan on letting that dictate my life. Um, I have a different view on things. Um, my eyes are clear. I don't have to put any visine in to hide my eyes from anybody anymore. I don't have to, I don't have to worry about my breath smelling like alcohol or my eyes being the size of saucers anymore. I don't have to worry about if my family's going to see me some certain way like I can go home with confidence now like I can come out and hang out with you with confidence I can go to a store and not have to worry about buying a pack of cigarettes or buying a vape or or just those things like I can walk into a store and buy energy drink and like that's the most thing like I'll get it's like an energy drink like I love my bangs I love my monsters <laughs> and I love my Red Bull um I always have uh but I can go places now and just be a normal person and since I've been out of rehab, like I did three months at Teen Challenge, and that was my that was my third time being in a Teen Challenge. I've probably done like a total of like eight months at Teen Challenges. 
Um, it's a good place to go. Um, if you're able to stick it out, like you should do it. And it's a great place that if you want to do recovery and you want to do a rehab, like I would suggest Teen Challenge.